what's up everybody welcome back to the channel we're coming back to take a look at another day at the track day we were in button willow and we had the fortunate time to catch tony elias he's a great friend of uh, of one of my friends and um we got coaching from him and it was pretty pretty good we all uh, the six of us got a session in with him and it helped us improve a lot our writing style as well as the little errors in race crafting that we had but let's take a look at the video let's dive in all right there's tony he's got if you ever see an mv agusta super veloce 800 without a rear light and a front light that's him and by the way he's pointing at the massive cloud he was warning me that is it going to rain or is it not going to rain and off we went we took off yeah this was actually an exciting time to train with him because he gave me he gave me one pointer but it changed everything and i'll tell you guys at the end of the video Racing with him is pretty cool because he's gonna follow you with his camera, uh, with his motorcycle, record you, and he's also gonna give you pointers of what to do. He's gonna play back the video from his GoPro, and he's gonna show you your feet in this corner was like this, your body, your shoulder was like that, and he, first and foremost, he's fast as hell. Oh, by the way, we had the squid game here. Mr. Squid number one. Yeah, this was funny. I love to pull up to the 1000 cc, this is the 600 cc, he's an A group or uh, that are trying to just gun it out the, you know, there you go, he passes by. But then once we get to the corner, hello, hey 1000. Yeah, it's pretty funny. Sometimes I go into B group to help Kira with her stuff and it's pretty hilarious when they see her ponytail fly and they see me pass by with 400, they're like, ah, we can catch him. But anyway. Good for them. Off we went. I'm trying to catch up to Tony. Tony took off. Yeah, and I think the, the session begins. Um, he would show me around in one lap. He asked me to pass. I went ahead and kind of like took over and he started watching me. And yeah, you see he's got a GoPro mounted on his top right. He's watching body position. He's observing like a hawk. And of course, as soon as I got in front of him, I was like, I have a MotoGP rider, a Moto2 champion, AMA champion behind me. Show off, buddy. <laughs> and I just pushed this so hard. My rear tire was spinning what it could because it was gone. I gotta change my rear tire. This particular section in the S's is, is you know, any kind of straight, he's able to catch up to me. And then as I was pushing in that lap, I think he got an idea of where I was in one lap. In the first lap, he usually gauges where you are. And then after that, he's like, okay, he's gonna push. Let me show Santiago what I'm at, who Tony Elias is. This. And yeah, he's got a very peculiar riding style when I was behind him. So this is the tip that he shared with me. He said, when you're braking, because I brake incredibly hard when I come into the like hard corners, slow corners especially. He said, when you brake, what I was doing is I was braking and I was just ready to hit the apex. I would drop my body and, and lean and accelerate. He told me, Santi, get your butt at the seat, slam on the brakes, and then let the body just floats on its own to the corner. And it was very true. It made such a huge difference. In many corners, I was basically, I was butt out, breaking, diving into the apex. Before I was just breaking without putting the butt out. And then by the time I got to the apex, I would move. And that would make the bike move. That would make the rear unsettle a little bit. And it would make the front unsettle a little bit too, depending on where I was in the track. If it was up a hill, down a hill or whatever. And um, so his, his biggest tip was, <clears throat> Tuck, 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 tuck. Stick your butt out, come out of the cockpit, and slam on the brakes. And that, <clears throat> it took me like a lap or two to get used to it, but it really made me really, uh, uh, made me less exhausted, and my body was ready for the drop when I was going to hit the apex, and then I could accelerate, and then adjust back to position on the up. I gotta say, this is super cool when Tony is following you. 
and you know you have a rider of that caliber behind you, it makes you really push. And, and after that, it, the, the commentary and the notes were pretty cool. Um, you can book him, you can go to his website and actually book him uh, for a few sessions. You can either uh, book him for half a day in the morning, half a day in the afternoon, or for a full day in any track day session of your, like whatever track day that you're going to. You can also book him as a group too. You can also book him as a, as a group where um, you know, just 10 of you guys. He might do a lap with each person, um, but obviously it's, it's, it's divide, the cost is divided by 10 people. Obviously, he'll only be able to pay attention to you for a specific amount of time, give you a note and be gone. Uh, with me, for example, I, uh, it was a team of us, and so I had a couple of sessions and he gave me my note and that was enough. By the way, we were going into this sandstorm. A sandstorm came in the last lap and look at it on the left-hand side. All of us were like panicking, going, what the heck? and look at the sandstorm that we just dived into and uh, Tony was telling me to like calm down and slow down because the sandstorm was manic after I finished the track day weekend I opened the radiator and I looked inside and it was like full of dust and whatnot it was crazy I had to clean the filter a little bit too um, but yeah and then a couple people they had to like flag that that specific session because that sandstorm was coming hard it literally, uh, it, it almost caught us at that side of the track, but when we get here to into the pits, as soon as we pulled into the pits, whoosh! And when we pulled into the in, inside, it was, uh, tents were flying, like you'll see when we get back into the pits. All right, guys, well, that was it. This was the lap, and I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, anyway, I hope you, you learned something a little bit through the channel, subscribe. Uh, like or don't like give me some feedback just so I can make the channel better I know right now I'm just pumping out whatever uh, content that I can with the track days that we go into more race focused stuff uh, but if you guys want to see something else if you guys have any questions please drop it in the comments below like subscribe and the whole jazz just to help the algorithm to help me just continue moving forward I only have 300 followers and I think I need to get to a thousand to to monetize this so I am able to just keep doing this a little bit more than than the usual so all of your help would uh, all of your clicks and subscription would help a ton uh, thank you for staying and watching I hope you enjoyed uh, follow Tony Elias in his Instagram you can direct DM him there to book him he's definitely a gem of a man uh, and yeah it's uh, pretty cool peace